In our initial video on the One More Evo, we were super hyped about the specifications. So now that the embargo is lifted, let's go. Goedendag, we're DHRME. Don't hurry reviews, mandatory embargo. The ultimate test of these buds is if we pit them against the most popular buds in this category. So this is gonna be a four way. The Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, the Edifier Neo Buds Pro, and the Lipertec Z5. What's important for a four way? Rubber of different sizes, of course silicone tips. Whichever buds you choose, you get a bunch of different size silicone tips to get your fit and they've worked out nicely for us. Now, all these buds are comfortable and we'd be more than happy to use them for long periods of time. But if you're planning to move about and even dare to break a sweat on a workout, then I would leave the One More and the Soundcore in their cases. The One More's fit is fine for when you're at home, but they would fall out of my ears during any workout. I disagree. I had the exact opposite experience. Hey, differently hold reviewers many experiences? The One More is also the only one that has oval shaped ear tips and in my experience those haven't been great for a great seal and secureness of fit. I disagree, I had the exact opposite experience. The Soundcore, despite them coming with wing tips to hold on to your concha, aren't the best for fit either. This has probably got to do with the fact that they're quite top heavy. The Edifier and Lipertech are comfortable and give us way more confidence to wear them for workouts. Speaking of workouts, I think we speak about workouts more than we actually do them. Anyway, speaking of speaking of workouts, these are the IP ratings. Edifier wins. But to be honest, even the lowest IPX4 is going to be plenty for most people's fluid needs. And again, due to the fit, the Edifier and Lipertech are our picks for workouts. And while we're busy throwing numbers at you, let's talk battery life. Here are some more numbers for you. For battery life on the buds with ANC on, the Soundcore makes use of its bigger size and gives you six hours. The One More and the Edifier aren't far behind. But in combination with the charging case, the Soundcore again packs the biggest punch at 24 hours. All of these buds are charged using USB Type-C and except for the Edifier, the others support Qi wireless charging as well. The Edifier's case has this cool Knight Rider light to signify battery life, uh, whereas the Soundcore goes for a simple three dot display. Finally, one more and Lipertech have single colored LEDs. The Lipertech and Edifier sport the stem style design, whereas one more and Soundcore have gone for the bud styles. But both of these are coincidentally also the ones that have a glossy, glossy surface, which we think gives them quite a premium look. Something all of these buds have in common is that they work with touch controls, so touch surface and there are no buttons here. So let's talk about controls. They all let you customize the controls in the app, more on that later. But Soundcore and Lipertech should be your pick if you're a tweaker and want to get the most options out of your taps. Uh, for example, out of the box, the Soundcore comes with volume, ANC, and media controls. Uh, Lipertech has a bunch of things you can change, and if the controls are too sensitive, you can even disable single tap. The Edifier and One More lets you customize only the double and triple tap, whereas just check out this crazy list on the Soundcore and Lipertech. In terms of the charging case, the One More totally kills it. The anodized aluminum, the hefty feel, rubber base, and compact design, out of the two colors, we choose the white since it's a bit more understated, but also shows a bit more wax. But we like the looks, uh, but we understand that some of you look at these as sanitary objects. We are talking about you, Ruza. The runner up in our opinion goes to the Lipertech, mostly because of the solid hinge action. So let's just summarize that again. The One More is the most premium, most compact and most solid build compared to any of these other buds. So in terms of build quality, the Evo gets one more point. If the core specs aren't enough for you, but you need those extra features, then the Soundcore or One More give you the full package. Smart pause or wear detection or auto play pause or whatever you like to call it, basically means that the music automatically pauses when you take out an earbud from your ears and it resumes after you put them back in. The Soundcore and One More have this and works very well. The other feature which is only supported on the Soundcore and One More is multi-point connections. Very handy if you want to keep your buds connected to your laptop and your phone, for example. One side note though, the One More's multi-device support is under the experimental features section. And it feels like we're being experimented upon. <laughs> Let us explain. We've tested it with an Android phone and a MacBook and it works. 
When it worked, it was fine, but we had a few instances where the buds would connect but wouldn't play audio on any device. The only way to fix it was to turn off the dual device feature in the settings or repair them entirely. But if you've paired it to more than two devices, can you force connect to the buds from a previously paired third device? We tried this and it only seemed to work with phones. Force connecting from a MacBook didn't work, so the multi-device it's okay. With two phones, I suppose it would be usable, but it's a bit iffy with one more device. Something all the buds come with is single bud use, but in this day and age, that has become quite mainstream. In terms of the app, the One More has a lot, but misses out on EQ. You can still customize the controls in the app by using presets on both buds. You can also change ANC levels too. The Soundcore Lipertech and Edifier do all of this and includes EQ as well but more on EQ in the sound quality section. But this is the noise cancellation section. In terms of noise, that's difficult to say, noise cancellation section. Try it a couple of times. Noise cancellation section, noise can. In terms of noise cancellation, the one more are all right. They do cut lower frequencies, but in our tests, they were similar to the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro for canceling out lower end frequencies. They did muffle the higher end frequencies a bit better than the Edifier Neobuds Pro, but you do not necessarily want to get on a transatlantic flight with these. The Z5 is also good, but tends to let in higher pitch sounds even in ANC mode. Where the One More do perform well is their wind noise reduction. The Soundcore also have a wind noise reduction mode, but the One More's implementation worked better for us. The story isn't very different when it comes to transparency. I prefer to use any of the other buds we have here for transparency compared to this one. The Z5, for example, amplifies outside sounds quite well. There's lots of white noise, but you get high transparency levels with no low end. Uh, voices tend to sound a bit nasal. The Edifier Neo Buds Pro is still the best with even lesser white noise than the Z5 and an adjustable ANC slider. The Liberty 3 Pro is also usable, but don't amplify as well as the Z5 or the Edifier and are about the same as the one more. In our earlier reviews, we've said that the Edifier only has basic environmental certifications in place and there's no recycling program from them. We weren't able to find anything for the Soundcore, One More, or the Lipertech on their websites. So if you're out to do good for the environment, none of these are going to make a large impact. Hey, but if you're bothered about the environment, just buy less. If you want to buy these though, the links in the description have the latest prices. All right, you ready? In terms of sound, here's the one-liner. The One More Evo is the Technique's EAH AZ60 with better mids and more controlled bass. In terms of specs, the One More is high-res audio wireless certified, whatever that means. They support LDAC, the highest quality Bluetooth codec we have to date. These come with a 10 millimeter dynamic driver and a balanced armature driver, and boy, do they deliver. The profile is fairly flat right up until the mids, but there's a big but that we'll talk about in a bit. We're going to talk about the tuning out of the box for now and go on to customization in a bit. Starting with bass, their performance is very good. So the bass mix is pretty much perfect, especially if you're an audio hole kind of person. As a bass head myself, the punch and boom is still present, but I wouldn't mind turning it up a bit. It's clear that the One More is aiming to be a more neutral kind of IEM, especially with this Grammy master tuning marketing. So having said that, if you listen to music with a lot of vocals, these really shine the light on the voice. Multiple voices harmonizing in blue by Kishi, all come together beautifully and the strumming acoustic guitar sounds very real. That's another thing. The timbre on these buds is good, especially for the acoustic instruments. Now to the butt. There's a clear dip around the treble, lower treble, higher mids, which gives you that smooth sound signature, not unlike the Techniques AZ60. This does well in most cases, uh, preventing any kind of harshness. And as advertised by one more, these are really smooth. And that's great except when you don't want it smooth, like when it comes to distorted guitars. Distorted guitars sound too creamy even when dirt is warranted, so I wouldn't buy these exclusively for rock or metal, but for pop, EDM, hip hop, these are extremely well-tuned. Uh, there's also almost no difference in the sound profile between ANC on or ANC off, which is an excellent job by one more. We see these variances constantly, so you get kind of the same sound signature on both modes. For this price class, we think that this could have well been our top pick for sound. But one more decision to only have a sound ID implementation for all the recent buds 
leaves them and us at a bit of a disadvantage. If you can get Sound ID working for you and it sets the sound to your liking, well, more power to you, but we couldn't. And that means we can't make the most out of this excellent product. Why couldn't one more go down the Soundcore or Jabra route where they give a Sound ID and a choice to tweak the EQ ourselves? We're really, really, really hoping that one more fixes this via a software update. Now, where does it stack up? If you're a bass head, you may prefer the Soundcore for the sub bass texture and the edifier for the forward bass presentation and extreme V shape. If you want a more neutral sound though, then these are our pick. If you're a tweaker, the Lipertech Z5 are super customizable, hardware and software wise. Not only do you get an EQ and LDX audio, you get three different types of tips to give you a different sound, including foam tips. Lipertech was one of the loudest true wireless earbuds we tested, but the one more pips it at the post with a smidge more volume. Among these, the Neobuds Pro has the lowest maximum volume. But fair warning guys, all of these buds are very loud and unless you're hard of hearing, we do not recommend listening to these at high volumes. End of public service message. One more place where the one more excels is phone calls. So you'll find all the call samples at the end of this video if you wanna hear them for yourselves. Microphones these days are hard to get wrong in quiet conditions, and that holds true for all of these buds. So if you plan to mainly make calls in quiet environments, then you're fine with any of these. In windy conditions, go for the one more or the edifier. You hear a bit of the wind, but the voice is clear and audible. The Lipertech would be our next pick where you hear a bit more of the wind, although the voice is still generally clear with a bit of distortion when speaking softly. And the last place is the sound core since you hear most of the wind and the voice gets distorted now and then due to their aggressive noise reduction. When it comes to a noisy environment like a cafe simulation, we're reasonably impressed with all the buds. The one more in Edifier did especially well, maintaining the voice clarity while suppressing the background noise. The Lipertech wasn't bad, but it was hard to hear when Rowan was speaking softly, and you could hear more of the background too. The sound core wasn't bad either, but you could hear Rowan's voice at times being distorted by the noise cancelling. The calls might be great, but we found that we didn't even want to use the one more. Here's why. It doesn't offer any self voice or side tone feature, meaning that you don't hear your own voice naturally when on calls, but experience the occlusion effect. If you've experienced a self voice feature in the past, you won't feel like using these for long phone calls. The worst part, you can't long press to change the mode while on a call or in the app either. The best part, this can be fixed with a software update. So let's move on. Let's talk Fachmann controls. None of these buds give you the option to mute the call from the buds themselves. But the Lipertech, Soundcore, and one more all have volume controls while calling, as long as you've configured them in the app. The Edifier unfortunately comes with the basics only to answer or hang up a call. The mid-range market for true wireless earbuds is, is at such a great place right now, and we welcome one more addition to it. It's a win for us as consumers and reviewers. We get to make more videos, but we still think that the Edify Neobuds Pro is insanely good value and would be our pick for that price class. For the latest prices, check out the links in the description. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Helps the channel grow, blah, blah, blah. At this price though, you know guys, the one more Evo delivers. It's not perfect, but it, it doesn't have to be. And it's a definite recommend from us. Well-built, good-looking, crystal clear calls, complete controls, good battery life, clear app, great sound, and a good price. You've been watching a review of more than one earbuds and we've been DHRME. Namaste, stay for the microphone samples. All right, one more Evo Buds, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Edifier Neobuds Pro, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Lipertech Z5, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. One more Evo, windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three.
Pop, 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 Rico. Ice, 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 Rico. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Edify Neo Buds Pro windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Lipotech Z5 windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Testing. One, two, three. One more Evo noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Edifier Neobuds Pro noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Lipotech Z5 noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Sound core, Liberty T Pro, noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three.